Adam Hogue, real quick. I know you're there. You could not w- sit this one out. Tori Taylor from the University of Iowa. You've got to be kidding me. But go ahead. I know you're excited. I mean, come on. I was I was just about to leave here. Uh, I got closer up to the Bears pick. I'm like, all right, I'm going to watch it before I, I jump out of here. And, uh, of course, they draft a punter when I'm not on the draft show today. You, it's you like, called it. You called it's it. It's like they're – they're messing with me. You know, I, I mentioned this on the show, I think, yesterday. Like, I didn't quite get to the finish line on the Bears 100, but I was uh, – I don't think Tory Taylor made it to 100. I was thinking about putting him right there at 100. So, like, let's say he's 101. And I'm not even kidding, guys. Like, this is by far the best punter in the draft. And um, he's he really is that good. Like, I, uh, I yes, I'm going to stand here and hype up a punter. But when you watch Iowa – and I hope you didn't because it was really hard to watch Iowa football. But their offense was Tory Taylor. They would go three and out, and then he would boom a ridiculous punt. So he can, he can hit it 70, 80 yards. He, I mentioned yesterday I compared him to Scotty Scheffler, uh, who's as dialed in as anybody in golf right now with his wedges. Like, he'll put the ball where it needs to go, hang time, boom it deep if he needs to place it in this on a certain hash like that's how good Tory Taylor is this Australian punter who was at Iowa and, uh so you can you can certainly make an argument that this isn't a need but I would argue that you know Trenton Gill Pat O'Donnell the Bears have been on this run now for about 10 years or so where their punter has been good but not great and you're you're entering into this era where you're trying to dial in every aspect of of your football team, and uh, of course I'm going to sit here and be the guy that says special teams matters, but your punting game really does matter. It's all about field position. It affects probability of scoring all over the field. So maybe this isn't the top need at this point, but I do think it's a a pretty significant upgrade at the punter position. Hopefully the Bears aren't punting as much anymore, but when they do. This is going to help set the defense up for success. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a day one starter, in which I was not expecting the Bears to be able to find that kind of a player, obviously in a unique spot, but a day one starter nonetheless. Hogue, because everyone's falling in love with you and, and your love of punters, would you have made this pick if you yes. were sitting on the board right now? This is what I, at Adam Hogue's drafting for the Bears with everybody that was there. You would have gone Tory Taylor. Um, if you say, go ahead. So uh, to full transparency, because um, I'm obviously not working today. It wasn't even supposed to be on the show, but I had to jump on to this. Like, I haven't even really followed who's been picked yet today. I think I saw Bordellini got picked by the Colts. So mm-hmm. maybe I would have had him a little bit higher. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know where the Bears 100 is right now. Um, but we are at that point of the draft where regardless of what our best available was here and who's been taken and who's not, like, it, it's – if you can get a starter – at this spot, a plug and play starter, I don't really care what position it is, including kicker and punter. That's why guys start to go here when they're, when you're the top kicker, uh, I think it's a reach in the second round. I, this is what I would have said was a reach last night in the third round, but you're on day three of the draft and I don't care what the position is. If you can get a plug and play starter, that's awesome. And so would you rather have a project edge rusher here that's going to take three years like Dominique Robinson and then not really work out? Or do you want to put in a punter that honestly, maybe I'm setting the expectations too high here. I, it would not shock me if Torrey Taylor is one of the top five punters in the entire NFL right away as a rookie. That's how good he is. That's really wow. how good he is. And, and in, terms of, in terms of excitement with punters, I'm not saying everybody's going to sit out there and uh, get jacked up about a punter. But, dude, he literally has a highlight reel for a punter. Like, go look it up. It's, and it's fun to watch. Uh, so I watched one of the worst football games of my life last year when Wisconsin played Iowa. And the only reason that you would have kept watching that football game if you were not already an Iowa or Wisconsin fan was because of what Tory Taylor was doing as a punter. And, and yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of having fun with this, but also being serious. Uh, all right, I'm on my feet for the putter. I'm in. Let's go. Stanley, Elite. every time he runs out there, I'm getting up. Let's go, Tory. Don't worry about that, Caleb. You're my guy. Put that thing on the at the two. Make it spin back, Tory. As as I'm Pat like, Mac as Pat yeah. McAfee says, uh, punters are people too. Uh, <laughs> so so um, 
Adam, who's who's gonna drop it in the bucket better next year? Caleb Williams or Tory Taylor? <laughs> ooh, ooh. I mean, hopefully it's Caleb, right? So you're not punting that much, but um <laughs> one with their uh, leg, one with their one with their arm. Mark it down right now, though. I'm telling you, Bears fans are gonna love this guy because he's got some swag to him too. Um, when they do have to punt. Uh, look, remember, like in all series last year that that Trenton Gill went through kind of that down uh, part of the season. I, I I did think he had a better December and kind of turned it on. Um, but punting was an issue at times last year. And, you know, I, I – anybody wants to make an argument that you shouldn't be drafting a punter in the fourth round, I, I'll listen to it. Like, I'm it's fine. But I, I, I am telling you that if you're going to have an exception to that rule, this is that exception. It clearly was for Ryan Poles. Congratulations to Tory Taylor. We're, we're efforting Scott Docterman, uh, who has knows him well from the college football yep. land of the athletics, so he might be popping in here. Hogue, I know you got to go, but I, I think you've let everybody know exactly how excited you are. So congratulations on 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 what the Bears did, and maybe you know they did it for you because you know your I doubt it, <laughs> but I'll take it that way. And uh, great job by you guys all weekend. Thanks for picking me up. And I uh, hope everybody's having fun. You guys keep uh, keep killing it the rest of the show. And uh, punter, man. You guys are doing a punter show here today. <laughs> because this well, is the it was only already. Thing. It's the only pick they have. When I now have to leave the punter show. It was when... already an obscure show with Carmen and Braggs leading the, the draft analysis on a Saturday. So why not? Throw the curveball and have well, a punter in here. Well, so. and for for full transparency, uh, you know, Gary Rappaporter texts me that Tony Taylor is the pick, and I'm like, he means Tory, but there's no way. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, yeah. and 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 I was trying to. Well, you know, I hope mean, that this is one of the few times that Gary had it wrong. And but Paul hey. said last night they had a few gold level players. You know, you have blue players and then I guess gold level players. So I'm assuming this was one of their gold level players on their board. Uh, Hogue, travel safe. We look forward to talking to you soon, but uh, you'll uh, be in our thoughts as you uh, head back up to Minnesota. Thanks, guys. Have a great show. We all city like the mayor. 